Hello friends, welcome to this video tutorial which will show you how to use APA, JPA technology to store in a relational database some instances of uh, a data object that are in a one to many relationship among them. JPA stands for Java Persistence API and it says a Java specification to help us to manage data and store them in a permanent way in a, a database. So it supports uh, all accrued operations on database, create, delete, update, read, and uh, also uh, the implementation of the um, typical relationship of the um, database world, relational database world, such as one to one, one to many, many to one many to many and so on. GPA is a specification that needs to be implemented over ORM system such as Hibernate or Eclipse Link. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping and this kind of system is that one that um, provide to GPA the classes and methods to operate physically uh, on the database. In this uh, sample application we will see how to store uh, in a relational database some entities uh, that are uh, in a one-to-many relationship among them. The first one is company, the second one employee. Uh, where uh, uh, one employee can work only in one company otherwise a company can have one or more employees well we we will do some assumptions first of all we will use uh, the Eclipse IDE and the Maven to build the project Eclipse link as a ORM system, so uh, we we will create a web dynamic web project to be deployed in a Glassfish uh, domain, and um, we are storing data in an existing uh, PostgreSQL database, not uh, directly, not with a uh, direct connection. Um, from the application, but uh, through a connection pool that is configured in the GrassFish domain. Okay, we can see the, um, the database that we are going to use. It is a GPA demo database in PostgreSQL 9.5, and uh, in this database, there is only uh, the um, default schema public and uh, one schema uh, one too many that we are going to use uh, to the to for these uh, tables and other uh, objects or this um, application as you can see at the moment this database is uh, uh, this uh, schema is empty there are no tables uh, and no other objects Okay, that's all. In next video, we will see how to install and configure the Classfish application server. Thank you for watching.